Hi ladies, we're going to be doing just a core workout today. Well, kind of our abdominals, our back and our butt. So we're gonna really, really work that area. If you're not familiar on a ball, I'll be showing you some alternatives to some of these things that you can be doing. So we're gonna start our first 40 seconds off in about uh, a short while. And uh, yeah, we'll just be going once through, but if you wanna repeat it, you certainly can. I'm gonna take myself right back. I'm gonna take myself over the ball. So from here, I'm gonna walk my hands over the ball, walk my hands out. Now, this may be all you do. You just hold here and walk back, okay? That's the easier version. If you want the harder version, stay here and bring your knees in. So we're doing a knee tuck. So bring those knees in, take them out. Tongue's on the roof of the mouth and bring those knees right into the chest. Remembering, if you don't wanna do that, then just making sure you don't arch that back, keeping your back up. You can walk those hands out and walk them back to the front, holding that core in, so belly button is into the spine and bring it back again. Exercise number one is done. Okay, we're gonna do some ball rollouts now. So hands are on the ball, core is on, and we're just gonna roll ourselves forward until we come in a straight line. So what I want you to do from here is I want you to have a gap between yourself and the ball and um, try not to drop those hips. So holding yourself there for a moment and come back. Now, if you're somebody that's got good, quite strong abdominals, you can come out here, stay, and do some small circles around with the ball. But that's trying to keep your upper part, like your back and stuff, stable. So if you saw me from the side, that's not rolling around, but my little circles make it harder. Otherwise, it's just forward and back, forward and back. It's all you're doing. Really pulling that belly button in. And the next one is just going to be a plank. So now, if you want to stay on your knees, you can and just hold. Hold for as long as you can, or you can actually come up, curl your toes under, and come up. And we're just going to hold on our ball. We want the tongue on the roof of your mouth. I want that be belly button in and our back is staying straight. So no dropping the hips down, just holding nice and long. Okay, I can certainly feel my core working. So just holding here, if that gets too hard, come back down to those knees again, try and drop those hips. Try not to have your hips up here, so just drop those down. Good, well done, almost there, good. Okay, we're gonna go down to the floor and I'm gonna pop this ball in between my legs and rolling onto my side. So what I'm doing from here, I'm just gonna lift that ball up to the side. Now what this does, this does a few things. So this will work my side abdominals, my obliques, works my inner thigh here, works my outer thigh here, and it works my outer butt up here as well. So I'm just doing a lift and back down again. Some of you, you will not like that. So just a bit too hard. So then just lift both hands or have a little ball. So just a little toy ball that you can put in between them. But if you can, be doing a few of these. It's really great. I can feel my side abdominals working really hard. I can feel this inner thigh is working really hard as well. Woo, good job. Okay, gonna take it over to the other side and pop it between your legs again, over onto your side. And let's do the lift. Good. And then come forward a bit more and just flip the lever. Good. Oh yeah. You can certainly feel everything working with that. But again, if you don't like that, take that ball out and just do it without. Woo yeah. Yes. How are you going at home with that one? Oh, it is hard work. I can certainly feel that working very hard. My inner thigh on both sides, my outer kind of um, abdominals here, my obliques and my butt are all working really hard. So now we're going to just lie on the floor and I'm just gonna lift this ball up. Just from here, just gonna lift the ball up to the ceiling. So like I'm trying to lift up um, to a potential above me. So I'm just trying to lift. Now you may not come far up off the floor. You may only come to here with your head and shoulders and I'm fine with that. If you can, lifting up a bit higher. Good. Keeping on going. 
Good. Well done. Woo! Oh yes, I can feel those abdominals working quite hard. So I'm just gonna lift my chest straight up to the ceiling and trying to give this. Oh, it's almost like somebody's from the ceiling saying, give me the ball. And you're trying to reach straight up to them with your ball. Well done. Okay, our next one we're gonna do, we're gonna sit up on our bum and then, now if you don't have a good back, sit nice up, nice and tall and take this right around behind you from hip to hip. If you can, you can do a slight lean back and take this from hip to hip. Your choice entirely. Good. Woo. Good, now we're gonna have a drink break after this and then we're gonna keep moving. Well done. Good job, another 15 seconds left. Again, you should be able to feel these abdominals working quite hard. Well done. Woo! Five seconds to go. Good. Well done. We're going to stop there, have a quick drink break, and I'll see you for the next lot. Great, so grabbing your ball, we're going to lift it right across as far as we can. So it's like you're trying to reach it to one person on one side, other person on the other side. Very big lift, try and get your head and shoulders up off the floor. But you know what, if you find it too hard to take your head and shoulders up off the floor, you'll still get a workout just reaching out side to side without lifting up. But nice big lift side to side. Sit. Good. Well done. Nice big lift over that side, lift over that side. Well done. Good job. Woo. Okay, and this one. So that is our abdominal workout done. We're going to go into some back workouts now. So I'm going to come over my ball for my first one. Over my ball, and all I'm going to do from here, coming down over the ball, I'm just going to lift, squeezing my shoulder blades back and holding my chest up. Try not to come way back. We don't need to do a big one, but just a hop the floor. I'm actually gonna turn around the other way so I can have my feet on the wall. It's helpful if you've got your feet on the wall because you've got something to anchor and then just pulling up, particularly if your shoes are not got a lot of grip. So just every time I come back, I'm pulling these shoulder blades back. If you want to, you can stay up there and see how long you can hold there for. Tongue is on the roof of the mouth, shoulders blades back, squeeze those butt cheeks while we're there. Well done. Next one, both hands, both feet on the floor. Here, and I'm just gonna extend out one arm, one leg. So opposite arm, opposite leg. Some of you who don't have good balance will find this one a bit harder, and that's okay. You may find, for a start, just starting out one arm, one arm, one leg, one leg. But if you can, opposite arm, opposite leg. But somebody's got a string on one arm, one leg, pulling you out. Extending you out nice and long. Well done. Good job. Beautiful. Woo. Oh yeah. Well done. Got another five seconds to go. Good. Okay. Now, we're gonna just stay on top of our ball. At just coming over the top so your hips are directly on top of the ball. Our legs are up and knees are together. And we're just doing a small lift up with these knees. So nice controlled. And this works into our lower back. We're trying to keep those knees together and just taking it a little lift up. You'll find this really gets that lower back working. If you don't like that, then just bypass this one. That's good. Well done. Woo. Good. 
We're almost there, got another eight seconds to go. Just doing a little control lift up, try and keep those knees together. Lovely, we're gonna come back onto the floor. This time we're gonna come down and we're just gonna come up and lift. So you can squeeze our shoulder blades together. I'm gonna to come again around to the front. If you wanna make this work a bit harder for yourself, you can have some dumbbells as well. So just bring those shoulder blades out to the side, coming back over your ball, doing a lift, and let's squeeze that butt cheek while we're there. Well done. Down and up. Good job. Woo. Oh yeah. Really squeezing those shoulder blades out, and then you can actually rotate those thumbs around as well. It really takes in a lot more of that upper back, so bringing those um, thumbs around. Good. Well done. I'm going to sit on it for the next one. I'm just going to sit on it, walking my feet out. And then from here, I just want your head on the ball. Just going to drop these hips down and lift up. So it's just a drop down towards the floor and a lift. You can have a weight here too if you did want to, but really try not to move too much on the ball. Just dropping the hips down lifting up the hips. I want you to really think about squeezing these glute cheeks hard while you're up there. Now this is a primarily glute one, but you'll feel your lower back doing some work as well. So it's a great one to work all that area. Well done. Good. So drop those hips straight down to the floor and then a lift up. Well done. Whee! Right, so for the next lot, we are going to be going down to the floor. And I'm gonna have my feet on the ball. So really your calves on the ball. We're gonna take our bum up, and all we're doing here is rolling that ball in and out. So we should be able to feel these hamstrings working, probably calves and our bottom as well. Well done. Good. Ooh Good. So making sure if you find that this is too much on your back, you can take your hands under your back or a little pillow, just support your lower back with it and continue to go with our legs, okay? Because really work into those hamstrings. We're just going to come here and all we're gonna do from here is squeeze our knees in. So it's a little squeeze in. If you prefer to do it on the floor, you can. So just gonna squeeze probably those ankles in here just gonna do an inner thigh hold. So see if you can keep holding it, keep holding it. Four, three, two, one, let go. See if you can hold again. You can either do little holds in and out, in and out, in and out, or we can hold it. That's it, keep holding. Well done. Oh, I can feel my inner thighs working so hard. Whoa-wee. Oh yeah. Yes, hold if you can. Well done, let's have a look what's on our list for the next one. Okay, we are just going to be taking a bridge. So feet flat on the ball, and from here, kind of forming a little bridge top here, tackle top position, and then lifting up nice and high. Now some of you won't like doing this on the ball. You probably might prefer your feet on the floor, and that's fine as well. And I'm doing mine on the, um, the ball today. And you can feel those hamstrings, calves, and glutes again at work. So we're doing the whole back of our leg with this lot. Well done. Good job. Woo-wee. Oh, yeah. Well done. I'm just going to add some stretches at the end of this because we have done a lot of hard work. So, going into some stretches, we're going to take this leg in for a hamstring stretch. I'm gonna point and flex that toe. Well done. Good. We're gonna take this top foot over the other knee and pull that ball in close so that we get a nice stretch through our hip, through our, our bum. And uh, yeah, should be feeling a lovely stretch there. Good job, ladies. But if you need to hold that stretch there a bit longer, you can. But I'm going to go to the other leg, take this one up in a hamstring stretch, 
and you can point and fix it. So, beautiful. That's it. Well done. So this time I'm going to pop this top foot down to this lower knee and pull this ball back towards me into a really nice bottom stretch. So well done. If you can feel that, just holding here for a little moment. Oh, that feels so, so nice. Yes. And just two more stretches I'd like to do with you before we end. We're just going to come up on the ball and come over the top of the ball and I'm just going to hang, turn my time off as well, we don't need that on anymore. I'm just going to hang over the ball and I just want you to slump over the ball, kind of just have a, a hang over it, like you're giving your ball a hug. Beautiful. If you have a sore back near there, try and get that sore back directly over the top of the ball so you can get a nice stretch there. Wonderful, and at last stretch of the day, I'm just going to sit on my ball and walk my feet out, and then I'm going to hang back over my ball. Oh, that's such a nice stretch. We've done a, a bit of work through our abdominals and our back today and our butt, so this gives you a really good stretch to all. Oh, that's so nice. Now, only if you can, Let's turn on to the side. Take that top foot to the front and then just have a side stretch over the ball. Just a, a beautiful stretch to do, but I'm aware some of you may not let us down the ball too well. You can even put your knee on the floor and stretch out that way if your ball's not too big. And we're just going to go the other side and then we. And you'll know that I've got my top foot forward, just to make me a bit more stabilised. Right, and we are done. I hope you enjoy that workout, ladies. And I love fit balls because they really challenge your balance at all times, but they work with you hard as well. So I look forward to seeing you next time. If you need further stretching, please go to our stretcher section. You have a great day. See you next time. Bye.